Okay, so there's a current rumor flying about about Bethesda and remakes of games, which potentially aren't just Skyrim. Perhaps. I don't know, but we're gonna read the article about it, starting now. Rumor. Bethesda could have a new studio dedicated to remakes and remasters. A new rumor making the rounds online suggests that Bethesda could be putting together a new studio dedicated to remakes and remasters. I just read that two times, basically, but let's continue on and pretend that never happened. Bethesda has built up quite the impressive library of games over the last decades. And luckily, many of its best games are regularly available on modern platforms. However, there are some older Bethesda titles that could use a touch-up, leading a fan of man to see these classic games remade. Bethesda Game Studios itself is busy with Starfield and The Elder Scrolls VI, but a new Raymer, a, Raymer, a new rumor claims that the company could very well have a new studio in the works that could be focused on remastering and remaking its older games as Police Sirens Go Off By Me. They're still going. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but... Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's common. This rumor comes from Scalzi, who is a YouTuber known for their Bethesda coverage. Apparently, Scalzi heard a rumor that Bethesda is putting together a new studio that will focus it on making remasters or remakes. I think we said that three times now, pretty much. Scalzi said that they've heard this rumor a couple times now. Wow, speak of the devil, but stress that this new information has not been ver verified. They also, your honorously... I've never seen that word before, so I apologize if I fucking butchered it. Believe that this new studio would be called Artifact, like the Valve game? Alright, anyways. But later found that Artifact is handling a documentary on Skyrim's 10th anniversary, where they will proceed to announce a 10th generation, 11th, 12th, and 13th generation remaster of the game, years before they're even... E years before those consoles are even announced. So... J just be ready for that. I have a little birdie of my own. Not called Twitter. Uh, obviously fans should take this information with a grain of salt. Just like what I said. Take what I said with a grain of salt. Because there's definitely truth to what I said. I didn't pull that on my ass. But if there's any get, if there's any truth to it, we may find out sooner rather than later. Skullsley posts that they could, that they guessed that the announcement of this new Bethesda studio would take place at QuakeCon 2021, scheduled for August 19, or at E3 2022. Heard a rumor about Bethesda opening a new studio. Okay, this is a rumor. Is there anything else added on to this here? Okay, just a few replies. Okay, what about this tweet here? Let's see, let's see. Okay, just about artifact. Uh, while there's no concrete evidence to back these claims, the response to the rumor shows that there's clearly an appetite for, for classic Bethesda games to get remasters and remakes. If nothing else, these kind of projects could upfill the gaps while fans wait for new entries from the main Bethesda studio. For instance, the Elder Scrolls 6 release date, years away, it could be adventurous to release a Morrowind or Oblivion remaster to keep fans busy in the meantime, which, look, actually, I'll save my thoughts for later, because th there's much more to say on what I was thinking of just now. Uh, Bethesda creating a studio dedicated to all that would be huge for Xbox Game Pass. Microsoft's acquisition of Bethesda was largely done to secure co um, content for Xbox Game Pass, and while Bethesda will be huge for the service, the classic titles would help. There's backwards compatibility. I'm a little tired of reading all this, but yeah, there's a new event coming anyways. So first off, yeah, I didn't even think of that. This is such a big advantage for Microsoft because of Game Pass. I didn't even consider that. I didn't factor that into this, but yeah. That's true, that, that will definitely play a role if it turns out to be true. As for this, uh, the studio, the whole point of it, I mean, let's keep it real here. This isn't a studio dedicated to remasters or remakes of Bethesda titles. This is a, a studio dedicated to remasters, remasters and remakes of Skyrim. Nothing but Skyrim for the next 10 years while we all wait for The Elder Scrolls 6. And you're going to all like it whether you like it or not. Okay, Todd Howard is going to be under your bed tonight if you at all at any point disagree with this. Look, all of this just works. This is why the studio now exists, and it's been a while since I've made that joke on the channel, but it was time again. Until we go by another 10 months or something like that without making the joke again, I don't know. I don't keep track enough of things like this, but I know it's been a while, and that's all that matters. So, yeah. A brand new Bethesda studio dedicated to remasters and remakes of Skyrim. What do you guys think of that? What are your thoughts on all of this? Are you down for the count for this? Did you want to see remasters and jokes aside, do you want to see remasters and remakes of Oblivion, Morrowind, as well as other Bethesda games like 
Uh, Fallout 3. New Vegas. Could New Vegas Remastered be official? Could Obsidian help with that, potentially? Or would it just be Bethesda themselves? I mean, guys, th there's no reason not to. Like, you might as well because of the demand. Do you know how much people would buy into that shit? It would sell like hotcakes. And loaded up with good-ass fucking mod support, it's gonna be incredible. If this is all true. Take all this with a grain of salt, of course, but that's all there is to say, I feel. At least on my end. I want to hear on your guys' end. What do you guys think of this? Leave your comments in the comment section below, because where else would you leave them? In the fucking description? I mean, it's not like anyone reads it anyways. So, yeah. Leave your thoughts below. I, I would be very curious to see what everyone has to say. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you if you have not already. Uh, turn on the notification bell and set it to all notifications if you have subbed, but you haven't turned on the bell because it really does help. Or I'm going to be sent to hell because of YouTube hell. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Um, also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I'm very active on those platforms. And that's going to be it. And I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.